Hello and welcome to the channel everybody. In this video I'm going to be comparing the 6700 XT to the Big Mama, the 6900 XT. In a previous video you saw me compare the 6700 XT versus my what are called 3070 and uh, we came to the conclusion that the 3070 was about 25 frames per second faster than the 6700 XT on triple screen 1080 games. I am going to include some VR and some single 1080 as well. The 6900 XT, how much faster is it going to be? Let's find out. Alright, now for these tests I'm using a Ryzen 7 3800 XT uh, using 32GB of DDR4 RAM at 3200 megahertz. of course using the latest Radeon software at the time of filming with nothing overclocked. Now for the first test we're doing uh, triple 1080 with 10 AI on track and high graphical settings and Amazingly, uh, we had around a 50 FPS jump here, uh, which is quite reasonable, uh, at least in the average and uh, a little bit more in the maximum. But uh, yeah, no, good, good jump here for the 6900 XT. Now I will mention that uh, if, for people following along from the 6700 XT versus 3070 video, uh, these are different settings, so don't compare these results with the ones from that video. Um, I've actually gone to more of a standard high setting and a standard epic setting in this video to try and make it a little bit easier to compare moving forward. But uh, yeah, just don't compare the two. Anyway, the next one I wanted to try is using the same high setting, but with FSR in ultra quality, just to see what difference there was. After switching over to FSR with ultra quality, uh, the 6700 gained about 15 FPS on average, whereas the 6900 XT remained nearly identical within about one FPS of without FSR which I found a little weird but let's continue so the next one I tried was the same triple 1080 with 10 AI but switching over to epic setting the the highest graphical setting as standard by a set of course of competizione now with this one the 6700 XT it lost about uh, 15 FPS on average when switching over to the epic setting which made it hit like 60 FPS which especially if you're on a 60 Hertz monitor that's probably about as low as you want to go I would say uh, but if you're using something like 144 Hertz monitors like I am of course ideally you want to be a little bit higher than that uh, and that's where the 6900 XT comes in and it did a nice 109.9 .9 FPS uh, which reminded us a 110 um, of course definitely playable um, and much closer to the 144Hz monitors if, you're, if you've got 144Hz monitors. But the thing I wondered was uh, could I get close to 144 with FSR and ultra quality on Epic? Let's find out. So activating FSR in ultra quality on the Epic setting, <laughs> we gained about 12 FPS on the 6700 XT and uh, on the 6900 XT we gained more than we did on the high setting which is weird uh, but we, we gained about 7 FPS which isn't amazing but it is something but the next test I wanted to do was throwing away the triples 
and just going with a single 1080. The average frame rate was a hundred and let's say 130 FPS on the 6700, which is quite fine, mind you. Uh, I think if you're running a single 1080, then a 6700 is probably fine for you, and you don't need to go to a 6900 XT, it's probably a little bit of overkill because I mean even if you wanted a little more than 130 FPS you can go down a high, high is fine setting, it looks good on high in this game with the 6700 XT. Going to the 6900 XT results, 160 FPS on average, maxing at about 190 and uh, the minimum is 117. Even the 1% low is 110. Uh, so, yeah, a little overkill, maybe. But uh, if you've got a single 4K, then I'd probably look towards more the actual triple 1080 results. Triple 1080 and 4K are actually a similar load, not the same, but they're, they're similar. Uh, but anyway, the next one I wanted to test was throwing the screens away entirely and using the Oculus Quest 2, uh, manually setting it to 120 hertz and manually setting again the resolution to 3200 by 1632. Uh, and then in the game, running the setting VR high. Uh, the 6700 XT got 93 FPS let's say on average uh, which is reasonable for most headsets considering most headsets run about 80 Hertz 90 Hertz something like that uh, so you're probably going to be fine on the 6700 XT in saying that for some reason this game doesn't look amazing in VR I don't know why that is, uh, that's just the way it is, uh, but with the 6900 XT you're a little closer to the 120 hertz on an Oculus Quest 2 at this particular resolution. Uh, we averaged 117 FPS. Now the maximum frame rate is saying 120, that is not accurate however 100%. For some reason, I don't know why, but uh, this game or Oculus or something limits the FPS to the Hertz on the headset, so it'll never go above the Hertz. I tried this in uh, 90 Hertz and 80 Hertz and every time it capped it at either 90, 80, 120, whatever I was doing. So uh, the maximum frame rate is not necessarily accurate. Average could probably actually be a touch higher there if the maximum was allowed to rise. But uh, yeah, uh, I think the 6900 is uh, just fine for the Oculus Quest 2 on 120 hertz and about the best you'll get it on the Quest 2 anyway. I was a little curious about uh, what's happened with some of these previous results with FSR not giving it more FPS and I wanted to do a little testing so what I did was I started to record while doing triple 1080 uh, with 10 AI on track and epic and both high settings and again we got the same results between epic and high while the CPU was recording in x264 and uh, that to me yeah, I think the 3800 XT CPU is holding me back here and it, it's limiting me so I decided to do another test and I took the AI out of the equation and uh, I just did a, a solo run in triple 1080 and uh, yeah I got a little more FPS in the epic scene 
but the minimums you could see were much higher but still getting capped in the top end which uh, yeah ma makes me think that I, I need a new CPU if I want to get more FPS not that these FPS are bad um, it, it's probably quite fine but I think moving forward I could probably get a lot more FPS by switching out my CPU here. Uh, so I I might have a 5900X CPU on the way, maybe. I don't know. Uh, the new AMD CPUs are coming out, and uh, I I don't know if I'm going to the new AM5. I might just get an AM4 on clearance or something and go like a, a 5900X that may very well solve my problems here and then we can come back and we can do the testing again and see if the CPU was actually bottlenecking me on the maximums here but for the most part you can see that the 6900 is quite a reasonable upgrade especially when you're looking at the uh, high setting on the triple 1080 that we did at the start I think those results show a little bit more of what the 6900 XT can do when paired with a proper CPU uh, not that this one isn't proper but anyway thanks for watching the video everybody hit the like button if you liked it subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one